to following properties of the linear transformation if t is linear then t is equals to 0 0 now since t is linear then we have t of x plus y equals to t x plus t y and t of c x equals to c of t x now t of 0 that equals to t 0 plus 0 since t is linear then t of 0 plus t 0 t 0 that implies t 0 equals to 0 now second question now you have to prove that t is linear if and only if t of cx plus y that equals to c of tx plus ty okay since t is linear t of cx plus y that equals to t of cx plus t of y that equals to c of tx plus ty hence proof now t of cx plus y that equals to c of tx plus ty that implies t is linear now since t of cx plus y that equals to c of tx plus ty take c equals to 1 therefore t of cx plus y equals to t of x plus y tx plus ty and take y equals to 0 t of cx plus y equals to t of cx plus 0 that equals to t of cx plus t 0 t of cx equals to c of tx plus 0 that equals to c of tx hence proved next then we have to prove if t is linear then t of x minus y equals to x minus t y for all x equals to b t linear implies t of x minus y equals to t x plus of t of minus y that equals to t x plus t into minus 1 y that is to tx minus 1 ty y and proved next we have to prove that if t is linear if and only for x1 x2 xn belongs to b and a1 a2 dot n belongs to f we have t of summation i equals to 1 to n ai xi equals to summation i equals to 1 to n ai t x i t is linear then that implies t of summation i equals to 1 to n a i x i that equals to summation i equals to 1 to n t of a i x i that equals to summation i equals to 1 to n a i t of x i using the property of linearity now you have to prove that t of summation i equals to 1 to n a i x i equals to summation i equals to 1 to n a i t of x i then take a i equals to 1 for all i t of summation i equals to 1 to n a i x i equals to t of summation i equals to 1 to n x i that equals to summation i equals to 1 to n a i t x i that equals to summation i equals to 1 to n 
टी एफ एक्स आई एक एक्स आई इक्स टू जीरो आई इक्स टू टू थ्री डट डट एन टी एफ समीशन आई इक्स टू वन टू एन ए आई एक्स आई इक्स टू टी एफ ए वन एक्स वन डेट इक्स टू समीशन एक्स टू वन टू एन ए आई टी एक्स आई डेट इक्स टू ए वन टी एफ एक्स वन व्हिच सेटिस्फाइज डी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लिनियरिटी एंड्स टी इज लिनियर व्हिच ऑफ डी फॉलोइंग आर लिनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन और नॉट फर्स्ट टी ऑफ ए वन ए टू इक्वल्स टू वन ए टू वेयर टी मैप्स आर स्क्वायर टू आर स्क्वायर वी चेक whether t of a1 a2 is to 1a2 is linear or not t maps r square to r square t of a1 a2 equals to 1a2 since t of 0 comma 0 equals to 1 comma 0 not equals to 0 0 so t is not linear transformation in the transformation next problem t of a1 a2 that equals to a1 a2 square here t of 0 comma 0 equals to 0 0 but second component of a1 comma a2 square is not linear so t is not a linear transformation next problem fix a belongs to m and r consider map ta maps mnr to mnr defined by ta x equals to x is it linear transformation t of a 0 equals to a 0 that equals to 0 t of a c of x plus y equals to a into c of x plus y where x y belongs to m n r c belongs to r that equals to c into ax plus ay that equals to c into tax plus tay hence ta is a linear transformation is the map T A X equals to A X square now X belongs to M N R and C belongs to R then T of C X that equals to not equals to C into T A X T A is not a 
linear transformation next problem t maps p n r to p n r where p n r is a polynomial space t is defined by t uh, p x that equals to p plus p dash let x px belongs to pnr c belongs to r then t of c px plus qx c px plus qx plus c px plus qx dash so that is the derivative that equals to c of px plus qx plus c of p dash x plus q dash x that equals to c of px plus c of p dash x plus qx plus q dash x equals to c of px plus p dash x plus qx plus q dash x to c of t p x plus t of q x hence p is a linear transformation next problem maps p n r to p 0 r where p n r is a polynomial of degree n of dimension n plus 1 and p 0 is the constant polynomial with dimension 1 p1 px that equals to p of 1 and t2 px that equals to a to b dt dt we prove these two problem first t1 c of px plus qx where px qx belongs to pnr c belongs to r that equals to c of pn plus q1 that equals to ct px plus t qx hence t1 is a linear transformation t2 c of p x plus q x that is to a to b c of p t plus q t d t that equals to a to b c of p t d t plus integration a to b q t d t that equals to c of integration a to b p t d t plus integration a to b q t d t that, that equals to c into t to p x plus t to q x hence t two is also a linear transformation next problem t of x comma y that equals to x y plus 3 since t of 0 0 equals to 0 comma 3 not equals to 0 0 t is not a linear transformation next problem t of x comma y equals to e to the power x plus y comma 0 t of 0 comma 0 that equals to 1 comma 0 not equals to 0 0 hence t is not linear transformation next problem t of x comma y that equals to x square minus y square comma 0 z equals to x y belongs to r square c belongs to r t of cz that is to t of cx comma cy 
that equals to c square x square minus c square y square comma zero that equals to c square x square minus y square comma zero that equals to c square into t of z not equals to c into t z hence t is not linear transformation next problem t of a on comma a2 that equals to modulus of a1 comma a2 x equals to x1 comma x2 y equals to y1 comma x2 then t of x plus y that equals to t of x1 plus y1 comma x2 plus y2 that equals to modulus of x1 plus y1 comma x2 plus y2 now tx plus ty equals to t of x1 comma x2 plus t of y1 comma y2 that equals to modulus of x1 comma x2 plus modulus of y1 comma y2 that equals to modulus of x1 plus modulus of y1 comma x2 plus y2 since modulus of x1 plus y1 lesser equals to modulus of x1 plus modulus of y1 so t of x plus y not equals to tx plus ty therefore t is not a linear transformation next problem t maps a1 a2 equals to cos of a1 0 t of 0 comma 0 equals to 1 comma 0 not equals to 0 0 hence t is not a linear transformation